India and also myself, we are all eagerly awaiting for tomorrow's event in the lunar orbit. And uh, there, I'm sure that will be a, a success for the Indian lunar program and the rover will uh, uh, land safely and will start functioning. And I hear that it will function much longer than it was supposed to because the fuel, some fuel was saved. And I'm sure this will be a very uh, fruitful lunar program for India. And it is definitely a great success and it will continue and there will be more uh, exploration on that uh, planet. If the lander lands successfully, what would that signify for him? For me, there could be no, no bigger statement of uh, India's remarkable success as a nation. Uh, you know, I'm not just saying it as a as an Indian diplomat. I'm saying it as a proud Indian. Uh, think of it. We we started our space program at a point of time where India had very little, really, by way of economic means. Today, it's a space program that's limited only by human imagination. Uh, we are, we will be among the few nations to be able to actually land anything on the moon. That's ahead of everybody, practically, on this world. We will have had, uh, we have been able to run the space program, even today, at a price that is less, as we know, of even some Hollywood movies. So it's cost effective. It is technology intensive. It is a massively inclusive program. See the number of women who work in uh, in ISRO, and, uh, for instance. And it is something that really fires the imagination of young people in India. So what, what's not to like? I mean, it is a brilliant example of everything that, uh, that is aspirational about India.